Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel with me Shady World. In this video, I will show you how we can run the EV testing on any data. So let's understand what type of data you can run the EV testing and what exactly this EV testing is. So EV testing is actually a kind of a comparison based a hypothesis testing. One of that hypothesis testing, a statistical method to analyze which one of amongst the two uh, that they are performing in a better way. Let's take an example, the one that we are going to work today that is on the newsletter conversion rate. So in that scenario, let's say there is a two newsletters are here. So viewers are viewing this newsletter, both of them, uh, both the newsletters have been read. So from there amongst which are performing better from where or which are the users are going to the subscription option. So that is what the overall business runs on. Let Here in this whole picture, it states that how many of these are viewing to this web page. They are having this newsletter, but amongst them, very few of them or I won't say 100% is going to the subscription option. There's hardly 5 to 10% that they move to the subscription. So that's what our business works, right? So here in this newsletter, they want to understand which one is performing in a better way. So for such scenarios, you can run an AV testing. Let me give you an, an, another example for uh, just understanding. Let's say you are running a campaign and uh, the same product uh, for a product and for that same product you are running on Instagram and on YouTube and on, on Facebook. Now you want to compare from where or from which particular social media site that you are getting more and more uh, buyers and they are actually buying it. It's not just viewing uh, your product and they just went away. They, they, if they are converting and your campaign is working in such a way that uh, you get more and more buyers for that product then particular that campaign is is far better so let's say now people are moving more on instagram so now the instagram business have been now been very popular these days so this is how you can run the eb testing and get which one is performing in a better way so eb testing is utilized by the marketing uh, team social media analysis people and many such uh, case where mostly with the social media, the newsletter medias and all that, they are using this A-B testing. So now let's see here, I have one data that is on newsletter conversion rate and uh, let's perform this A-B testing on that. Before we start this uh, A-B testing, we need to import the libraries first. So let's import first, import numpy as np then import pandas as pd then import matplotlib.py plot as plt then import seaborn as well and also import this is scipy why because we are going to run a test that's a A-B testing. We are going to run that on the basis of the statistics. So we need to call this particular uh, library as well. That is scipy.stats as ss, let's say. Numpy for some mathematical calculation that we are going to perform here. Pandas for the data manipulation. Uh, the matplotlib is for uh, visualizing, for to exploring this data. We will see something in a specific way of uh, uh, on some plots. We'll create that and we'll, we'll see how the pattern goes on. And uh, for the enhanced visualization, we are going, also going to use the seaborn. So that's how this. these are the important library. So let's run this cell first. It'll take a little bit of time oh yeah so yes we have successfully imported the library now let's import our uh, data file as well import the data file right so here uh, i would also like to add uh, one more library let's say uh, the import os just because i want to set my directory so let's write here os uh, change dr for the change directory because um, and 
and this is the conversion rate file that I want to uh, use uh, here. So let me take the path, copy the path of this file. Okay, and this is on the CSV format and paste over here and don't forget to double slash here so that uh, it becomes without any error it will set the directory now run this cell okay it's important now okay so this is how we have set the directory now let's import the data so for that i will write here df is equal to pd dot read csv because this is my csv file and the file name is conversion underscore data so we'll write conversion underscore data dot csv and df dot head just for to read the topmost uh, five records as in by default so so we have imported the data and also read some few records from the top now the next step is to understand and get the summary of the data so let's get the summary of this data for that i will write df dot info to get the overall summary of this data now run the cell so this is how we have that uh, this particular uh, file that is they have three columns day conversion uh, a and conversion b in total they are the 30 entries so number of rows are 30 and they are non-null which says that they are no missing values in it and these are the data type they are in numbers so numeric integer and uh, others uh, conversion a and b are in the float as in data type and this is how we have the names the number of columns and it states that they are the 30 cross uh, 30 by 3 so it states 3 30 rows and 3 columns so let's have a shape as well so let's write df dot shape just for our confirmation okay so that's a 30 rows and uh, 3 columns in it so this is how we have our data summary the shape and we can also have the data type but we already have here in the info so now we'll not see this but the next point that we will see is the descriptive statistics descriptive statistics so for that we simply have to write df dot describe once you run this you will get the whole description of this data if they are numeric so those who are numeric in nature numeric characters uh, uh, i mean numeric data type based data is there then we will have this whole description where we have the mean count standard deviation minimum value the max value and some 20 50 and 70 which states they are the uh, percentile so uh, this is the five summary that we will have here uh, with the box plot and all so it's giving us 25 percent of data where it uh, uh, so what are those 50 percent of uh, data are within this and 75 out of this it, it says so it's it's uh, it's a clear uh, understanding of iqr interquartile range and all that so we will see more in deep but this is what the description of the statistic states that in total they are the 30 counts the mean value for this day is 15.5 uh, and the conversion for this is 0 0.16 these are the mean value this is the standard deviation it looks they are quite um, close there is no much of the difference uh, but there is a slight difference and we will see uh, which are the better amongst these the minimum value is stating here so minimum is for conversion one is this and conversion b is 0 0.15 so very very slight difference uh, this is this states that 25 percent so this is in the uh, percentile it's defined so 25 uh, percent that is for 25 percentile that is uh, in 25 percent of data is ranging between these that is 0 0.1325 it's ranging within that so that's from the minimum to this value it's a it's considered to be like that uh, for the 50 percent the 50 percent of data is lying between 0 point, 0 0.1 to 0 0.16 uh, then for 75 percent of data it states from 0 0.1 to 0 0.18 and this is the max value that is 0 0.23 so 
we'll see if there is any outliers or something uh, here in the data but this is how the descriptive statistic state so it gives you the um, uh, for the numeric data now let's go and uh, uh, let's see how this distribution the density distribution of this data is so let's explore this data in visually as well uh, so for that Let's write here SNS dot dist plot. This will give us the density distribution of that data. So let me first see for DF dot uh, uh, for the first that's a conversion conversion underscore A and I will write here PLD dot show and run this cell. This will give us the density curve uh, and this is that the value is ranging so this will give me an overall idea the combination of this uh, histogram that it gives us an idea of what where is the peak value uh, ways and this kde which will give us this overall the density curve that a major density is lying between this particular 0 0.15 to 0 0.20 so here is our uh, max value ranging and this is the peak value this is what between 0 0.10 to uh, 0 0.22 where we can say that the value is ranging in between so this is how we can have the distribution of our data and uh, this particular pl plot we can say it's a density distribution uh, so this is for the density distribution of data okay uh, let's see for the another one as well that is for the this chip plot and let's run for df dot conversion underscore b for the second one as well and right here uh, plt dot show this is simply a warning so you can exclude this warning that's fine and at the top you we can write that uh, ignore the warnings but let's run this now okay so this is giving me just about uh, this uh, okay this is this plot but i want the dist plot if you just simply read this plot it will give me the distribution of the data with the um, histogram based and this is the dist plot so this will give me the distribution at the same time the kde as well uh, so for that we will write here the dist plot and this is how it looks and this 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 curve is a little a uh, bit more uh, with a more standard deviation so there is a more um, space and and this looks quite a bell-shaped kind of curve but still skewed here in the last few records but here we can have our uh, more towards the bell-shaped curve this is not that purely bell-shaped but yeah it is there so let's see which is performing better so the finally we will run here our statistical test we will perform on both of these so uh, for the statistics how we can say that uh, which one is performing better how we can compare that then here comes us our th hypothesis testing states what they say is that let's we can have our null hypothesis says the mean of this conversion a for this conversion a is greater than and equal to the mean of conversion b so based on the mean value of this conversion a and b we will going to compare so what they say is here and let's have our hypothesis that null hypothesis states if this is greater than and equal to the mean of this uh, conversion b then null hypothesis will be satisfied and we have to accept that if in case the h1 that is the mm, alternative hypothesis states if the mean of this conversion a is less than the mean of conversion b then this alternative hypothesis will be satisfied but on what terms it's on the terms of p value if p value is less than to our uh, value let's say from 0 0.05 it comes lower than that then null hypothesis must go which says that we should reject the null hypothesis in that in that case if null hypothesis is high that means this 
sorry the p value is high then we can say the null hypothesis is satisfied so we need to accept that that this is this is true so now let's perform this analysis and understand and uh, conclude from this overall analysis here we will run the t test you must be wondering why the t test right so t test is performed because the number of record is less than or equal to 30 then in such case we can perform the t test otherwise we we could have moved to the z test and t test is for comparison uh, when we want to perform and as we have our mean value as well here so in that scenario we can perform our t test so these are the two condition in which we have uh, chose to go with the t test so let's write here for the t-test, we will say like, let's say t underscore test, that is for statistics. And for another one that I want to take is for the p-value, which is equal to here, we have uh, considered uh, the, the scipy dot stats as ss. So we will call here for ss dot tt test for the t-test underscore ind. And this how this is the uh, for the method that we need to call for the t test, and we will run between the df dot conversion underscore a comma df dot conversion underscore b. And now let's run this cell. Okay, this is successful. Now. Now we will see what the value is here for the t stat. This states it's minus 3.78736 uh, value, which is in negative, and we will also see here the p value. What is the p value? Which is actually our conclusion node. So we'll see. Okay, so p value comes out which is 0 0.003, which is way less than our consideration of 0 0.05 so as if p value is low which means that the null hypothesis we must go with says we have to reject the null hypothesis and in that consideration we can say our alternative hypothesis is accepted it's so we need to accept this that the mean of this conversion a is less than the mean of conversion b so the performance of the conversion b is far better than conversion of A. So this is how we have concluded and this is how we can uh, do our A-B testing. I hope you like this video and if you learn from this video a lot then do like, share and subscribe to my channel. For more such video please hit on the bell icon as well. So thank you so much for watching this video.